reaching an all-time low, delivered by a smack in the face. Greetings everybody, my name is Crimson and welcome to this new commentary series on uh, one of my favorite games of all time, which is... Well, the title is going to give it away, but never mind, I want to keep it cinematic. It's Secrets of Evermore on the Super Nintendo, made by Squaresoft when they were cool and not Square Enix. And um, this game, amazing, love it. I grew up playing this game, um, one of the first uh, games I actually played, and uh, the very first RPG game I played. And a lot of people compared this game to Secret of Mana, and I can see why, and they say that this game sucks, it's so uninteresting, the main character sucks, this game is just bad, play Secret of Mana instead, that's what a lot of people say. But, um, and I can see why, but uh, I have so much nostalgia, and I grew up playing it, and I will for, for all, forever love this game. And it has a very special place in my heart. And um, the music in this game is composed by Germany Saul, I think his name is pronounced. And this was his first game that he worked on. And he later went on to... Um, uh, there we go, Germany Saul. And he later went on to make music for The Elder Scrolls 4 and 5, Oblivion and Skyrim, and games like that. And uh, many other good games. So. Uh, I think it's very interesting. And a lot of people who worked on this game actually was, this was their first project. So it's uh, very interesting. It's like everybody's new and I just love what they did here. It's very unique and different. So here is the main file selection screen. And this file up here was um, the one I did before this. So I'm actually doing a re-recording now because I lost a commentary recording because I was stupid. And so I have to redo yeah, this uh, series uh, from the start again. Um, so, but no worries, we didn't, got, got, we didn't get that far. It was like maybe 40 minutes kind of. So it, it's not that bad. And uh, we will just start from the beginning. Um, now, I'm wondering here, because I have a lot of things to talk about, and um, if I'm going to show, you know, start the game and let the intro cast team play while I talk about it, or just sit here at this boring screen and talk about it. And I think we're just gonna start the intro cast scene, and you can either listen to me, or you can just uh, focus on the game and the story. It would be nice if you could do both. <laughs> but then I'm gonna name my main character Crimps because he's going to be me in the game and he's going to talk a lot and it, it's just going to be me, the character we play as. So Crimps it is. So, today is June 13, 2015. I'm down in South Sweden and I'm going to stay here for like one and a half week and uh, we're going to start this series and uh, this um, series is going to be a way for me to cope with something uh, and that is that um, Nana as uh, some of you know um, my girlfriend and the the shine in my life the light in my life and you know, the one I love. She broke up with me. Wanting a pause. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but... Uh, it's extremely hard for me. And... Um, if this series turns out boring, or not my usual crims, and uh, some episodes I might be very, you know, down, and not very happy-go-lucky crims, yeah! You know, that kind of crims. You know why. At least I hope you know why. My friends, prepare to be a part of history. With a twist of a knob here and a flip of a switch there. Wait a minute. That's not right. That's not the kitchen. That's not how the microwave works. 
God damn. And now we go 30 years into the future. So the experiment failed. What a bitch. And there's the main character and our dog. What a classic. My favorite part is the battle of the slime beast in the toxic swamp. You could hardly tell that it was really a bunch of old tires and a garden hose. Oh, skater! I want to be like him. Where are you going, buddy? That's not the way home. Ah, <sighs> again. Wait for me, boy! So we're gonna change... Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna head into the mansion. Now, where did he go? And, um... Hmm, yeah, the door is open. Uh, so that's uh, how it is. I'm uh, going to make the series to cope with the, uh, that situation. Have a lot of fun. And all that. Um, so I hope you guys could can be here for me and give me support. I would appreciate it very much, but you don't have to, of course. But um, I really need support from people right now to cope with this situation. So we're in the mansion and we can't see anything, but I like this because you, it's like a book. You have to imagine what he sees and wh wh how it looks in there. You may think it's lazy, you know, they don't have to design it and show it, but uh, it works out. I think it's fun. We found a hidden door and now we are, I think, in the same room as where the experiment took hold. And there it is. There's a dog, fast as fuck. Wow. This looks like the PCS plasma drive in when consonants collide. Consonants. I wonder if it works. I guess it did. Whoa. Looks like a spider. Better punch it. We should get out of here before something goes terribly wrong. Hey, don't chew those wires. What the fuck? Our dog transformed into... whatever. Uh-oh. And now we will have to live... Everything just explodes, yay! Now we have to live our life in this metallic world. Look at this guy. What do we have here? An intruder up here. Dude, stand up. Don't make me breathe on you. That was some blast. <gasps> oh god, man! When did you last brush your teeth? Who are you? That's not important. We got to get you out of here. We can't have you meddling with the professor's experiments. Come along. You dick squeeze. Who's that, Carlton? Do we have a visitor? It's no one. No one at all. Continue with your work, Professor. Or I will slap you like I did last night. After you. You pumpkin farts. <laughs> wow, that was so good, Crims. A plus on that commentary. So finally we can begin controlling. Now what? I don't know, let's try out the controls. So we're actually playing this on the real... As I say with all of my series that I do like this, but we're playing this on the real console. The real Super Nintendo. The one I played on back in... Um, yeah, when I was a child. Over 20 years old. And it still works. Uh, so we're doing it on that console. And we're also doing it in 50 FPS, because we're doing this on the PAL version. So I hope you can enable uh, 50 FPS uh, HD and uh, experience this game like how I, how I experience it, the same frame rate. So we're gonna open this chest and get the best treasure ever, it's the bazooka. Cool. I wonder if monsters will spawn very conveniently. Oh look at that. What the fuck is it? This does not look good. So we can bring up the menu and we have, you know, different shits but we can go into targeting and see the names of the enemies. So it's a guard bot. Let's shoot. He did one damage on me. Dude. 
How dare you? Oh, Krems, you missed. We need to pay all the bills. Shoot him! We are victorious! And uh, I think that's it for this first part. So, um, once we head down this little hole, I'm gonna end the part. And I will see you on the next episode. Can't see very well. It's dark in here. Hey, I think there's some futuristic escape pod. Maybe. And we died. Oops, there goes the control pad. <laughs> I will see you next time, good folks. Have a great day.